Hey guys, JKG here, back with a Genshin Impact video. So, um, update 1.4 is here, and a lot of new events came along, and yeah, today I just want to show off the three game events. So, these are actually pretty fun, it's um, sort of like activities where you can do, um, similar to the tower defense mode in the last event, the lantern right event. Yeah, so here there's three mini games where you can play every day. So, oh, you still haven't unlocked yet. Okay, so tomorrow it will unlock the part two. Okay, so let's do part one first. We will do the balloons again. Okay, so I managed to get the three rewards. So each mini game has three rewards, depending on how much points you get. So for the balloon, you need 2.6k for the for all three rewards. Okay, so first uh, thing you must take note of, you have to bring a bow user. So here I use Fischl, everyone should have her. Uh, she was given for free in one of the events, I forgot one. And then I actually set up a portable waypoint here because I think this is the furthest um, you have to walk from a waypoint. Oh shit. Okay, and then this tower, uh, enemies will attack you, so I would advise clearing them first. Yeah, uh, kill all the enemies before attempting because if you are climbing, um, like when you start the event, they will teleport you to the top of the tower and if the monsters are not cleared, sometimes they will attack you halfway and then you will drop off the tower <laughs> before you are able to start the event. Yeah, so try to clear the monsters first. Okay, so um, some advice that I can give you if you are playing um, on both PC and phone. I think this one would be better if you play on PC because you have to aim with the bow. But there are a few events, like the rhythm game one. I think it's better to play on phone. Okay, let's start. So, go to your bow user. And I would recommend pressing R so that you are always in the shooting mode and don't press right click because I did that a couple of times and I dashed forward the tower and I fell down yeah so being on top of the tower lets you see all the balloons okay so be sure to not break the combo if you see the combo number there's a um, a rotating countdown timer thing so if oh my god so if the timer goes down to zero and you haven't popped any balloons, your combo gets reset to zero. Yeah, which means your points will be deducted. Yeah, like see my combo is broken already. Yeah, so try to go for all the orange balloons first. Either the hearts ones and the star ones. Um, don't hit the heartbreak balloons because it will deduct your points and break your combo. Yeah, so that's basically how you do this event just aim for the orange prioritize them uh, and then the heart shaped ones the heart shaped balloons break all the other balloons in the AOE so yeah that's about all this event is actually quite long it's I mean this mini game is I think three minutes or something yeah so it's quite a long event so you should have plenty of time to get the score that you need yeah, for heart shaped balloons, wait until they are near other balloons before popping them so that they can break those in the vicinity. Okay, this one is hard because of that heartbreak one. Yeah, but there's a lot of score if you manage to hit all of them. Okay, let's go. So, in between the timer just try to hit as many green ones as you can oh yeah I already broke the combo <laughs> okay make sure you don't accidentally walk off the tower <laughs> because I've done that a few times yeah so make sure you look at the ground from time to time okay so 39 oh I actually got a new record so 3990 
you only need I think 2.6k for the reward so that is quite a lot of time yeah they give you quite a lot of time to complete it so this one shouldn't be a problem problem prob <laughs> problem <laughs> Okay, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so the second event is the flying one, which I think is probably harder to play on PC, so I think phone will be easier. Um, to access this, teleport to this one, Temple of the Lion, and then from there you can glide there. Okay, so this next game, you can't use any character spells, so it doesn't matter who you go uh, against, who you go with. Okay, there's a treasure chest, let me get that first. So yeah, this one doesn't really matter who you go as. My score currently is 3460. Okay, so this dusty balloons, you don't want to touch, because it obstructs your screen, it makes your screen muddy. Okay, so to begin, just walk off this platform. You'll be seeing these green, green particles. So if you are you have been doing your crimson wishes, you should be seeing this quest quite often. So you have to collect these particles. Okay, so avoid those brown ones. What you want to look for are the flower ones, they give you more points. Okay, and then one more thing to note, the faster you reach the finish line, the more bonus score you can get. So make sure you try to um, press the space bar, um, get off the wing mode as much as possible. Okay, collect the flower and then this one you can go down. Let's see where's the next one. Are there any more flowers? Oh, okay. Here's one. Okay, not sure if I can get both. Oh yeah, I can. Okay, avoid the muddy ones. Okay, so see that rotating flower thing? That's what you want to go for. That's the finish line. If you don't touch that, I think you can't clear the stage. Yeah, so that is the finish line garland. I still have a minute, so... Yeah, I can slowly try to aim for that. It's moving pretty fast. So make sure you catch that. Go a bit nearer. It changes direction from time to time, so just take note of that. Yep. So 3.4k, that's not my record, but... It's enough to get all rewards, I think. Yeah, you only need 3k to get and then I got 3460 okay the next one I think is the more fun one I like this kind of games rhythm games so celestial destiny you just have to okay this one you can do anywhere actually you don't have to do it at the town area so this one I would suggest playing on the phone and with sound yeah because you need to match the circles with the beats Because my currently my screen is a bit, little big, so because it's at the two extreme ends of the screen, I have to look left and right for the circles. But if you're on a phone, I think it's easier for you to see where the circles are coming from. But it's of course it's still playable in PC. So 56 combo, that is the 
I think that's the highest score you can get for the normal mode. Okay, let's do one more on the Pro. So yeah, I think that's about all for the tips for this game. Uh, I would suggest playing on phone. I think it'll be easier. Okay, so that was the music that uh, my wife just said it sounds like a spa music <laughs> so I missed one as you can see when both rings came down at the same time at left and right um, because my screen is a little big I can't see um, both coming down at the same time so I think playing on a phone is easier so um, the final score for pro mode should be 3750 for the perfect score yeah, so that is the third event. So I think, yeah, that concludes the events that you can get. And then for these tickets, you can exchange for some stuff. Let's see what we can get. Okay, so Crown of Insight, I actually haven't gotten the chance to use it yet, but I have bought it from um, all the previous events. So there's 600 tickets you can um, usually for this kind of events, once you complete all the stages, you'll be able to buy all of this. So no need to worry what to get, but if you are not active, if you are not playing every, ser uh, every single game, then I would suggest prioritizing these books, um, talent level up materials, the gold ones especially, um, it's very hard to <laughs> craft. The price is actually about the same, so three silver ones you get can get one gold. So the prices is also three times more expensive. And then Crown of Insight you might want to get. Uh, for the future, I haven't really <laughs> used it yet, but yeah, once your talent goes to a high level, I think you will need uh, this one. I'm not sure what it's for. I think it's just a like a decoration. Okay, this one. I'm not very sure whether it's good. Is elemental mastery um, after using elemental skill receive a boon I think it's a buff from the ancient wish increase attack by 16% uh, I think it's just fine um, this one is the up refinement material for this bow so at, you can purchase up to four times so you can get to level refinement level 5 I think yeah, but I would still go for these essential materials, these five, this six, and then hero suite is important as well, and of course Mora, but if you are playing every single stage, you will get enough probably to get everything anyway, so no need to worry what to get. Okay, so other stuff includes this quest where you can um, just get some primal gems I've completed one so you have two more to go and then of course the there's also this peculiar wonderland where you can get three mini games so you enter this portal you get it's like Mario Party so you get randomly three stages of mini games so you just have to complete them based on the 
instructions given. Uh, I haven't played one of it yet, so there are five stages. There are three locked ones. I've played this. You just have to memorize it once. Um, I think this is the exact path that I walked that time. That time. I'm not sure whether it's randomized every time. Uh, this one I haven't played. Bubble Crash. This one I haven't played. And then this one you just stand below, avoid the red flowers, collect all the other flowers. And then this one is a bit like the Fall Guys game. So those that are shaking will be uh, the platforms that will drop. So stand on those stable ones while collecting these um, feather thingies. Okay, so the last thing about 1.4 I think everyone is excited about is of course Rosaria I think she'll be in the next event where the next banner where child will come back and then it'll feature her because she's also from Shneshnaya Shnesh whatever and then the hangout event okay so this is like a dating sim series one so I've actually completed uh, the Barbara one so I'll be doing for all characters even the guy yeah so because I'm <laughs> I just want to know the character stories I'm not gay yeah I have a wife so the Barbara one I've completed the whole all five endings so you can get um, rewards after you completed all the endings yeah so basically it's um, you just try all the different options <laughs> to get all the different endings. Yeah. So the next one I have Noel, Chong Yun, and Bennett that I haven't played yet. Yeah. So yeah, leave a comment if you guys want to see the entire story mode. Um, how I clear them. And yeah, I think that's about all for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you won't miss future videos and I'll see you guys next time.